Welcome to PopFlix Zone, your go-to channel for deep dives into the world of movies, TV shows, and the stars who bring them to life. Today, we're taking a thrilling journey through the lives and careers of the iconic cast of Pulp Fiction. From their unforgettable performances in Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece in 1994 to where they stand today in 2024, we'll uncover the highs, lows, and incredible stories of 10 of its most memorable stars. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow film buffs. Let's keep the conversation alive in the comments below. One, John Travolta as Vincent Vega. In 1994, John Travolta delivered one of the greatest comebacks in Hollywood history. His portrayal of Vincent Vega, a hitman with unexpected charm and a penchant for awkward dancing, resurrected his career after a series of underwhelming roles in the 1980s. Following Pulp Fiction, Travolta starred in hits like Get Shorty, 1995, Face, Off, 1997, and Primary Colors, 1998. However, his career took some questionable turns with projects like Battlefield Earth, 2000, which became infamous for all the wrong reasons. Despite some setbacks, Travolta remained a beloved figure, earning critical praise for his role in American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, 2016. As of 2024, Travolta has embraced his role as a Hollywood elder statesman, appearing in smaller, character-driven projects and maintaining a strong presence on social media, where he often shares heartfelt tributes to his late wife, Kelly Preston. 2. Uma Thurman as Mia Wallace Uma Thurman's portrayal of the enigmatic Mia Wallace turned her into an icon overnight. From her sharp wit to the legendary dance scene at Jack Rabbit Slims, she gave us a performance for the ages. Post Pulp Fiction, Thurman reunited with Tarantino for the Kill Bill series, 2003 2004, cementing her status as one of the most formidable action stars of her generation. She also appeared in comedies like The Producers, 2005, and dramas like Hysterical Blindness, 2002 which earned her a Golden Globe. In recent years, Thurman has taken on more experimental roles and has even made her mark on Broadway. In 2024, she continues to star in diverse projects and is an advocate for gender equality in Hollywood, often reflecting on her legacy as one of Tarantino's muses. 3. Samuel L. Jackson as Jules Winfield Say, what, again? Samuel L. Jackson's performance as Jules Winfield the philosophizing hitman with a penchant for Ezekiel chapter 25 verse 17, became instantly legendary. His role in Pulp Fiction catapulted him to superstardom. After Pulp Fiction, Jackson became one of the most prolific actors of his time, appearing in over 150 films. From his roles in the Star Wars prequels as Mace Windu to Nick Fury in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Jackson has remained a box office powerhouse. In 2024, Jackson continues to work at an astounding pace. He's been reprising his role as Nick Fury in Marvel projects while also lending his voice to animated films and video games. At 75, he shows no signs of slowing down, proving he's still the bad mother we fell in love with in 1994. 4. Bruce Willis as Butch Coolidge Bruce Willis's turn as the brooding boxer Butch Coolidge showcased his ability to blend action with depth. While already a major star thanks to the Die Hard franchise, Pulp Fiction reinforced his versatility as an actor. Throughout the late 1990s and early 2000s, Willis appeared in critical and commercial hits like The Fifth Element, 1997, The Sixth Sense, 1999, and Unbreakable, 2000. However, his career faced challenges in later years as he transitioned to lower-budget films. Tragically, in 2022, Willis's family announced his retirement due to aphasia, a condition affecting his cognitive abilities. While fans miss his on-screen presence, his legacy remains secure as one of Hollywood's most beloved and enduring stars. 5. Ving Rhames as Marcellus Wallace As the intimidating crime boss Marcellus Wallace, Ving Rhames brought both menace and complexity to his role. After Pulp Fiction, Rhames became a familiar face in Hollywood, appearing in The Mission, impossible series as Luther Stickle. His deep voice also landed him numerous voiceover gigs, including as the iconic narrator for Arby's commercials. In 2024, Reigns continues to appear in Mission, Impossible Films, with his role as Luther still going strong. He's also dedicated to philanthropy, 
supporting initiatives aimed at helping underprivileged youth. 6. Harvey Keitel as Winston Wolf. Harvey Keitel's portrayal of The Wolf, The Ultimate Fixer, was brief but unforgettable. Already a legend by the time he joined Pulp Fiction, Keitel's career spanned decades of iconic films like Mean Streets (1973) and Reservoir Dogs (1992). Post-Pulp Fiction, Keitel continued to work with top-tier directors, appearing in films like The Grand Budapest Hotel (2014) and The Irishman (2019). His collaborations with Martin Scorsese and Wes Anderson have kept his career vibrant. Now in his 80s, Keitel remains a respected figure in Hollywood, known for his unwavering dedication to his craft. 7. Tim Roth as Pumpkin, Ringo. Tim Roth's role as Pumpkin, the small-time crook in the film's opening and closing scenes, left a lasting impression. After Pulp Fiction, Roth collaborated with Tarantino again in The Hateful Eight (2015) and took on a variety of roles in indie films and major blockbusters like The Incredible Hulk (2008). His work on television, including Lie to Me, 2009-2011, earned him further acclaim. In 2024, Roth continues to thrive, appearing in both films and streaming series. He's become a favorite for directors seeking actors with depth and versatility. 8. Amanda Plummer as Honey Bunny, Yolanda. Amanda Plummer's manic energy as Honey Bunny added to the chaotic brilliance of Pulp Fiction. Plummer, known for her eclectic career, continued to choose unconventional roles in films and theater. She earned accolades for her stage work, including a Tony Award. In 2024, Plummer remains a beloved character actress, recently gaining attention for her role in Star Trek, Picard. Her fearless approach to acting keeps her work exciting and unpredictable. 9. Christopher Walken as Captain Coons. In one unforgettable scene, Christopher Walken delivered a monologue about a gold watch that remains one of the quirkiest moments in cinema history. Already a revered actor, Walken continued his illustrious career post-pulp fiction, appearing in films like Catch Me If You Can (2002) and Hairspray (2007). His distinctive voice and eccentric persona made him a cultural icon. As of 2024, Walken shows no signs of stepping away from the spotlight delighting fans with roles in TV series like Severance and maintaining his status as one of Hollywood's most unique talents. 10. Quentin Tarantino, director cameo as Jimmy. Though primarily the mastermind behind Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino's brief appearance as Jimmy added a layer of humor to the film. Tarantino's career skyrocketed after Pulp Fiction, with films like Kill Bill, Inglorious Bastards, 2009, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, 2019 cementing his reputation as one of the greatest directors of his generation. As of 2024, Tarantino is reportedly working on what he claims will be his final film. Whether or not he sticks to his promise, his impact on cinema is undeniable, and his work continues to inspire filmmakers around the globe. That wraps up our deep dive into the cast of Pulp Fiction and their incredible journeys from 1994 to 2024. It's amazing to see how this iconic ensemble continues to leave their mark on Hollywood and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to PopFlixZone for more engaging content about your favorite movies and stars. Let us know in the comments which cast member's journey surprised you the most. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.